what is HTTP? How it is different from HTTPS? More of this in this video. Stay tuned to it learns. Hello people, welcome to it learns. In this video we will be looking at HTTP and HTTPS. First of all, uh, let's see what uh, what's an HTTP is. Well, HTTP is a uh, stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which Hypertext is media including text image video and many more so http is a protocol that is used to transfer data over the internet say web it is media independent that is you can uh, send any sort of file transfer any sort of file using HTTP protocol right perform an application layer or say layer 7 of OSI model those who are not aware of OSI model can click on the I button to watch a detailed video on this and next is it works on TCP 80 port as default now let's move on to the characteristics of HTTP now looking at the characteristics of uh, HTTP we have first, uh, first is the very obvious that it allows web servers and browsers say client to exchange data or web that's the very first one second is it is a request response protocol one is it uses reliable TCP connections using TCP 80 or as a default that I already told you now let's look at some features that HTTP provide Now, some features of HTTP protocol are first is that it is media independent that you can uh, exchange any sort of data any type of data over the internet okay second is connectionless now what does a connectionless protocol means that is once a client and a server client sends the request and disconnects the connection now once the response is ready from the server side he again establishes the connection and response 
send the response to the client and disconnects the connection that is what we mean by connectionless protocol that once you send the request you don't have to be in the connection till you get the response you can, can disconnect the connection once you send the request and can wait for the response from the server third one is stateless a stateless protocol means that the server doesn't remember the request if it's been made the first time or the second time if you are making the request for the first time or the second time the server will receive it like it's been made the first time so the uh, server doesn't remembers the state of the request all right Now let's look at the architecture of HTTP protocol. Now let's look at the architecture of HTTP message. Let's first see the architecture for HTTP request message. In HTTP request, in an HTTP message, there can be three types, three parts of a HTTP message. First is the start line, second is the header, third one is the body. Now let's say we are looking at the request message. So the request message is going to have method, URI, and the version so here this is the method that needs to be performed on the resource this is URI and it stands for uniform resource identify it helps the server to find out find the resource third is the HTTP version now the body contains information about the host that is www.google.com accept type that means def that uh, defines the type of file that uh, the client is accepting the it may be text or HTML all right third one is going to be the accept language that defines the type of language that the client is accepting and in the body as we are looking at the get request so in case of get request nobody is there as the resource that we are requesting for is already uh, defined or uh, mentioned in the start line so no body is required in that get request so now let's move on to the response message and again the message can be divided in three parts this is going to be the start line header and the body now in a response message
the start line is going to have HTTP version and the status code status code may be success if the request was a success or 404 that is no record found so it's the status code lets the client know if it's request was a success if the uh, if, if it was a success that means the server found the file if it was the status code was 404 that is the server didn't find the file that the user was requesting for in the header we have the same information that is about host a set type and the set language and in the body we'll be having if the request was a success will be having the resource that is the page we requested for okay so that is the architecture of a http message or of in case of a request and a response now let's look at how http is different from https Now we know HTTP protocol is used to transfer information. For example, the client is providing his credit card information to log into his account on a payment website or to do a transaction. In response, the server feeds the client with his account information. Now this whole information is in plain text so if there is a man in the middle attack the hacker will be able to see the card credit card information and the account information of the client but this is how it, this is not how it's supposed to be right because this is some private information of the client and some other person should not be able to see to avoid these man in the middle attacks a server security layer soft layer was introduced so what does this secure socket layer do? it encrypts the data coming from the host and once it's been received by the receiver it helps in decrypting the right so the data is now decrypted only client and the server has their own keys for decryption of these this encrypted data so if there is any man in the middle attack the hacker would not be able to see the information enclosed because the data was in encrypted form so this whole arrangement was called HTTPS whereas this S stand for secure secure hypertext transfer protocol so this is all about HTTPS and HTTP that's all from my side have a nice day